Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, so today on the desk, we've got some power distros. Um, these are true one power distros. I've got 12 of these to build for a system that we've got coming up. Um, and I figured that I would show you guys how we build power distros. So um, this is a very simple, uh, just, just one in um, to uh, five out. Uh, power distro units. This is based around true one connectors. Um, so this is a true one inlet and it has four true one outlets and also a Edison duplex on the front. And uh, one of the things that is unique about this is it has a voltage slash amperage meter that goes on the front. So you may be looking at this and saying, oh my God, that's 230 volts. Well, these are going to Europe. So I have to test all of these at 230 volts. Um, before we, we go any further on this particular project and showing you how we wire it, I think I should just say out loud, I'm not an electrician. I'm not a licensed electrician to work on your home. Uh, we build touring stuff. Um, we don't do any home electrical or commercial building applications. Everything that we do is, uh, is, is for on the road use. So I, I know that I'm cruising for a bruising in terms of what's coming at me in the comment section. Um, so I figured we would address that. The second thing that I do want to address is this is a custom product uh, that will primarily only be used in America. Why do I bring that up? Because we are seeing a regular 20 amp Edison outlet on the front of this with the potential to give you 230 volts uh, as an output when you're in Europe. So again, this is not a box that we sell on mass. Uh, this is something for a client that they specifically asked for that. They will be using this with a trained crew that uses their systems. This is not a dry hire distro. Again, they spend primarily 99.99% of their time in America. Uh, they just had asked me to test this at 230 volts uh, because True One connectors are rated at 230 volts. Um, uh, and also the breakers that we are using are also rated for 230 volts. So again, uh, I certainly understand the, limit, the limitations of this Edison connector. Uh, I look forward to responding to all of you that call me out on that. Anyway, uh, so let's look at this. So uh, I have this in, in relative stages of done this, so you can check it out. So the bottom one is fully assembled. Uh, the top one is also fully assembled, and then the center one is how we received the chassis from our metal fabricator. So uh, the metal fabricator that we use, um, we, we do the design here, they do the uh, anodizing uh, etching where applicable. This one doesn't have any etching as far as labels go, um, but I just thought it would be cool to see the cutouts. Uh, there's one thing that I did mess up on this particular design. Uh, when I was in CAD land, I forgot to have um, the holes for the breaker tapered. So I have to do that by hand, which ah, just slapping myself on the wrist for that. Um, anyway, let's take a look at the way this works on the inside. So um, power comes into the distro by this inlet right here. This is just the standard true one inlet. It is then wired to the line side of the breaker. Uh, the load side of the breaker has this little ferrite choke on there, which is what measures the amp draw um, and also the voltage shown on the meter. I should say, actually, it's just the amp draw. The voltage is, uh, is measured by the line, uh, which comes in. Um, I have it just tied into the, the other side of this duplex outlet. Um, so that measures incoming voltage and then amperage of the whole thing. Um, so everything post the inlet, all of the true ones and the duplex outlet, um, will tie into this meter so you can see how much is being drawn on the distro. Um, this is important for A, you know how much your rack is, is um, drawing. This is going into a uh, video rack. So it's like a 30 space video rack filled with gear. Um, you know, there really isn't anything in there that's a, a huge draw. Um, but you know, it's nice to know what your system is drawing. And then if you want to uh, link these together, um, you always know how much your main distro is pulling. So on the front here, as an example, we do have um, uh, true one inlet, obviously the main inlet, and then an outlet with the uh, expressed intention of looping uh, distros together. So if you're uh, looping your racks together, you can do that. Um, on the back here, uh, there are just true one outlets. So there's three on the back, 
And then we also have a little deep hunch back here uh, just for future expansion. Uh, when we designed these distros initially, um, we were going to have a little LED light control module in there, and that was going to be a four-pin XLR that came out of the back. But we decided to uh, 86 that from uh, from the uh, from the distro, and we just kept the whole um, just to keep it as a blank. So if you want to do anything in the future, you can. Um, just a regular uh, 15 16 deep punch like that will will accommodate a uh, power con. Uh, if you wanted to, so you know, if you want to change that up, you can. Or you know, if they wanted to uh, eventually put that little LED controller in there, they could do that also. So uh, again, here's looking at the distro from the back, just how everything is wired. Which again, I'm sure that we are going to get lots of comments on the way that we wired this, but alas, I ran out of um, uh, 14 to 16 gauge blue disconnects yesterday when I was building this, so that's why there's some yellow ones in there. So it's the same gauge wire. This is 12 gauge uh, wire all in the interior here. Um, so yeah, anyway, here's the inside. Uh, let's build one up. All right, everybody. So we are at the halfway point. So I uh, hope you're following along so far with everything. So here is the front half of the distro wired. So uh, just to trace out the, uh, the, the signal path here, we'll use an audio term there. Uh, power comes in. This is our main inlet. It goes to the line side of the breaker. Here's the load side of the breaker. It goes through our little coil here so that the... Um, uh, amp slash voltmeter will measure the amp draw. Uh, the amp meter is wired into um, the other side of our duplex outlet. The line side, or excuse me, the load side of the breaker is then wired to our duplex outlet right here. Uh, the other side of the duplex outlet is wired to the Wago. Um, that's our, our hot, and then this is from the Wago, this just goes to our. Um, our first output here, our first uh, true one output. So our neutral line comes in from our main input, goes over to the duplex outlet, is malted from the duplex outlet back to this Wago right here. Um, and the same signal path is with the ground too. So uh, this is our main ground wire coming in. It comes back to this Wago. Uh, and from this, ground uh, goes to our duplex outlet. Our, uh, our true one output, and then it also hits our chassis ground. So each one of these Wagos is a six is a six uh, port Wago. So I do need to use another one for ground. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is the wiring so far. Pretty simple, right? Uh, so we'll just get the back wired up, and uh, we'll be good to go on this one.
All right, everybody, so we are wired up. So here is the back with the three True One outlets. And here is some close-ups on the wiring. So now that this is all basically neatened up, um, I am going to just very quickly run this through some testing protocol. So um, what we're going to do is uh, I have a very non-scientific test of using my shop's heat gun as a load uh, because that draws about 10 amps when it's on. So I can check all of the outlets just to make sure that they're uh, triggering the meter correctly. Uh, and then I just basically run through with a, um, a true one uh, connector wired to a female Edison with uh, just a regular outlet checker on there. Uh, and that just gives me a good idea of uh, that just to confirm that the outlets are, are wired correctly. So, you know, neutral equals neutral, ground equals ground, etc. Um, and then also the uh, voltage meter is reasonably calibrated between um, the, uh, the, the checker that I have, um, my multimeter, um, and, you know, just that as a basic test protocol. So then the next thing that we'll do is we'll energize it to 230 volts uh, just to make sure that everything is okay and happy. Um, and then I just check that with a multimeter uh, so you can see that. So that is what we will do right now. All right, everybody, you can see that we passed testing nicely um, and uh, we're finished. So we just have to build like, uh, you know, a thousand more of these to complete this order. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm going out on a limb here making a, uh, an electrical video on YouTube. So uh, just, you know, be kind in the comment section here. Um, anyway, uh, I do really do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I, I have a lot of fun making these videos. Um, and I, I do really enjoy interacting with everybody. Um, nobody manages my social media account. I do it all myself. So, you know, if, if you want to ask me a question or reach out to me direct, please just leave a comment below. Uh, anyway, hope you all uh, are having a great day. Oh, one last disclaimer. I'm not an electrician. If you do this and you hurt yourself, I have no money. So good luck. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.